Let's dive deeper into the programming possibilities of the beat. First, we choose the rhythm we want to edit. Let's go to beat one, bank B, and hold down the prog button. We choose one of the four sounds, for example, the snare drum, and add some hits. Whenever we need to, we can undo with the undo command by pressing and holding control and tapping hit. We can also remove this instrument completely with the clear ins command by pressing and holding control and tapping twice on hit. And lastly, we can remove the entire rhythm with the clear beat function by pressing and holding control and tapping three times on hit. Now let's start a new beat from scratch. Since we cleared out this beat, we will hear the metronome start automatically. We add some hits to start a new beat. Since we no longer need it, let's disable the metronome by tapping on the prog button. Now let's play around with an odd time signature. We press and hold control. The div knob allows us to select between four time divisions, which are 5-4, 3-4, 7-8, and 4-4. We choose 3-4 in position B. Or we can change to 7-8 in position C. To exit without saving the changes, we hold the prog button for a few seconds. Now we'll edit beat 3 in bank B. Let's press and hold prog to get back into programming mode. The instrument knob shows the hi-hat is selected. The beat allows you to add accents to your hits. Tapping hit on top of an existing hit adds the accent, and it will now sound louder than the rest. Now we select the snare drum. If we tap hit on a previously accented note, the accent is removed. Let's pitch down the snare. While we are pressing control, we will only modify the pitch and the alias setting will remain the same. When we release the control switch, the alias setting will remain intact until we move the knob again. We can add aliasing to give texture to our sound. Combined with pitch down, it can make hits drop out randomly due to its raw digital algorithm. The aliasing effect works in real time and is not saved into the sequence. To save our beat, we hold down control and prog for a few seconds. The beat is now stored in the pedal's memory, ready to be played whenever we like.